baby, please don't go. Hi, Paul. Thanks for meeting with me today. Thank you. So, you are a classical guitarist, and I guess what I'm wondering is, what age did you start playing guitar at, and did you start on a classical? Well, I started playing music in eighth grade. I joined a band, and I was playing bass for a little while. It wasn't until, I'd say, senior year in high school, when I first got a guitar, and I pretty much I played fingerstyle, some Zeppelin, stuff like that. Uh, I didn't really get into classical guitar until I was 20, I guess, 22 maybe. Okay. And how did you get into classical guitar? I know a lot of people don't really know much about the classical guitar or its repertoire. Um, who introduced you to it? Well, I was watching, um, I think it was Fox News actually, <laughs> um, but they had just come out so they weren't slanted yet. Um, and uh, I saw uh, someone playing guitar there, uh, this guy named Steve Hackett, who used to be in Genesis. Um, and I thought it was really cool, and I thought, you know, if I really wanted to work on something hard, that would be what to do. And after having played in bands for years with uh, all these guitarists who were getting all the notoriety, I decided, you know, this is probably harder than what they're doing. I'll do that and show them that I'm better than them. <laughs> so it was kind of a spite thing. Okay. <laughs> so then you went on to school for classical guitar. Is that a common program? Um, I didn't even know you could. Uh, I had a friend who had a cousin who taught classical guitar. And um, it was hard to find out. There really wasn't an internet then. Sure. Um, and um, so I had to go to the local record stores, music shops, and just find anything that said classic or classical guitar on it. Um, and I, most of the stuff I bought was on cassette. Um, it was in the dollar bin. Um, and then when I when my friend told me that he had a cousin that taught classical guitar, um, I called him up and I started taking lessons at the Blue Island School of Music, um, which was a tiny little shop with like one studio in it. So can you tell us, just for the people that don't know, what is the difference between a classical guitar and, say, an acoustic? Well, classical guitars are typically smaller. Okay. Um, we play on nylon strings. Uh, we use our fingers. Um, we grow our nails out. Um, can I see your nails? So, can you see them? Yep. Mm -hmm. So they're a little longer, um, and they're manicured a little bit. Sure. Don't go anywhere to have them done. You learn right. <laughs> sure. Um, and let's see, um, it's a little more intricate than most acoustic. I mean, if you're just strumming, there are some very intricate acoustic players also. But uh, we tend to play Spanish music uh, okay. and, uh, well, classical music. That can be anywhere between, you know, the Renaissance to modern music. And is there a great deal of music that's been written for the classical guitar? Um, there's a lot of music written for the, for the classical guitar, um, as well as duets and trios. Um, not as much as there is, say, for piano, but the guitar is older than the piano, oh. um, older than any keyboard instrument. Um, so we see it, I mean, we do a lot of transcriptions of piano music, of lute music, which was a predecessor of guitar, um, vihuela music, which was another predecessor. Um, there's, there's plenty to keep us busy. Okay. And... What is the difference, um, this is something that I have questions over, about, um, what is the difference between classical music and flamenco? Uh, well, flamenco is more akin to like American blues. Okay. So um, with blues you have, you know, a set style like a 12 bar blues or whatever. Um, flamenco has a similar thing where it's a lot of it's improvised. Um, the guitar, there's a lot of solos in it, like you would see in blues guitar. Um, very percussive, um, not as refined, I guess, as classical guitar would be. And do they use a classical guitar to play flamenco, or do they use an acoustic, or...? So they use a flamenco guitar. Oh. So flamenco okay. guitars are very similar to, to classical guitars. Um, they usually have a piece of plastic on the top so that you can bang your fingers against it or your nails against it for, like I said, a percussive sound. Um, the action, which is the distance of the strings to the fretboard, is lower so that 
you're going to get a lot more buzzes, but you'll also be able to play a lot faster. Oh, okay. Um, and a lot of the stuff they play tends to have a capo on it, which is something to cut the string length down a little bit to make the, the guitar play in a different key. Mm -hmm. And for your own students, um, I know you teach here at the Lockport Conservatory of Music. Um, do you recommend that they start on a classical guitar? Is that any easier, or what would you recommend? Um, depending on their age, um, classical guitar, can. it's great to start um, and get a good foundation for technique. Um, if they're really, really small, sometimes it's hard to push the strings down. There are some classicals that are smaller. Um, if they're a little older and just don't want anything to do with classical music, if it's you know just not cool, um, I would recommend an electric guitar. Acoustics are generally harder to play. The tension on the strings is usually harder, and unless you're willing to, willing to spend some money, you're gonna not really find something easy to play. Sure. And what would be the benefit to starting on a classical guitar just from the get-go? Um, I would say technique. Um, every type of guitar is almost a different instrument. Just because you're good at rock or metal doesn't mean you're going to be good at any other style. Mm -hmm. um, classical players, the technique that you develop during classical playing will carry over to every other style. Um, It'll also develop your right hand, which you won't see in, in rock music. Um, it'll develop your left hand horizontally as well as vertically, where in most guitar you're literally just working horizontally. Um, with a good instructor, you'll also develop a better knowledge of the fretboard, so, and that'll carry over. Interesting. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you'd like us to know about the classical guitar or your studies? Um, well, let's see, I, I did go to college mm -hmm. for this. Which college? Um, I went to Columbia College of Chicago for a bachelor's in All music. Right. And then I went on to get a master's in music at Roosevelt University at Chicago College of Performing Arts. Okay. Um, I studied in Spain um, for three summers um, with Pepe Romero. I studied twice with David Russell. Um, I played in numerous master classes. Um, with all sorts of great classical players, no, no rock players. Um, let's see, um, I've been teaching guitar now for, oh geez, um, probably about 15 years. Um, and I've been here at the Lockport Conservatory of Music in Lockport, Illinois, um, in uh, the historic downtown uh, train station here at the Metro Station um, for say about a year and a half now. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Oh, nice talking to you. Thanks. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. You know it hurts me so. Babe, I'm with